hello and welcome back to another video. Good morning. Oh, mommy. Oh, mommy. <laughs> Good morning. I am three weeks post C-section today. So I probably should be lifting this little one, but I can't not. <laughs> um, no. No, can't not. I can't not pick you up. Oh. I love you. For once, he's dressed. Asta, who is a little girl, is fast asleep in the pram, isn't she? She's sleeping. It is currently five to eight, and we have been up since just before five o'clock. Todd usually wakes up at nine o'clock. I don't know why he's woken up at five. But yeah, no, I have no, done two loads no, of washing. No. They are hung on the air. I'm just washing the air cover and I'm going to get that all dried on the heated air that we've got. All no, the lines are open. Bit. Yeah. Up a bit. Up a bit. You are up a bit. You're currently stood in my uh, cup cupboard, which I don't think is too bad. It's just if I come this way, the door shadows the light a little bit. Um. But yeah, I just thought I would film a solo parenting day. It is my sixth day solo parenting. It's my second Wednesday because Aidan works Wednesday through to Sunday. So yeah, it's the start of his second week back in work. And yeah, it's going much better than last week. I think as every day goes on, I increasingly become more confident soloing two kids and getting to grips with actually getting housework done. I'm also slowly getting around to like cleaning things in our new house, um, which is exciting because I didn't get a chance before I gave birth. So yeah, we've just got stuff um, everywhere. I will show you later on, but we've still got boxes. Is someone trying to de-ice the car? Uh, uh oh, sir. No, you fixed it. Daddy fixed it for you. All fixed. Dreamt it. Yeah. Okay, thanks. Off you go then. Love you. <laughs> so, so yeah, that is literally what our day entails just solo parenting day i thought it would be interesting to film i don't know if this will be a full vlog or a weekly vlog whatever it'll be <laughs> it'll be a video um but i don't know if the day will take a turn for the worst and i'll just be going insane and not pick up the camera um hopefully i do hopefully this can be a day in the life um, but we shall see. At the moment, I'm just rambling. I'm going to go have my cup of tea, have some toast, finally eat breakfast. We'll show Granny when she comes, and I'll leave it at that for now. It is now a little bit later. It is, I think, about quarter past half past ten. I'm filming on my phone because I've left my camera downstairs. This little madam has um, fed and gone to sleep. And this little rascal is just feeding still. And then he's hopefully gonna fall asleep. I think we're gonna read a couple of books. And yeah, he'll go to sleep. And then, yeah, I'll hopefully get a little bit more sleep too. Um, because getting up at just before five when you're used to him waking up at nine o'clock. I'm getting up at eight with her, but he's only getting up at nine. And I didn't get to sleep until like 1 a.m. So yeah, hopefully I can get a little bit more sleep, but he can have a nap. Although he's not napped since she was born. Um, he's just woken up later, gone to bed early. So like he wakes up at nine, goes to sleep at seven. So, yeah, 
he has 14 hours at night, which I feel very blessed for, but I don't end up having a break during the day. So we shall see if my nap is successful today. And it is later in the day. Um, if you're back in my cup cupboard. And I think it's about half past one, two o'clock. <laughs> um, but I've just made some chicken dippers and some chips for me and Todd because we haven't had dinner. The last time I checked in with you, um, I think was, I was putting Todd to bed or seeing if he'd have a nap. He did have a nap. Um, and yeah, I think he woke up hopefully with enough time to still have a good bedtime tonight, but <sighs> where was I? My brain is like a sieve since having the baby. Um, yeah, so I think he's woke up with enough time to still get to bed at a reasonable time tonight. Um, but until my food shop arrives, which I stupidly selected um, four to five, because I thought in my head, well, it's the cheapest delivery. Um, as it was like one pound or one pound fifty and everything else was like six pound for the day. Um, but it means that I actually haven't got any food in other than freezer food until that comes and I've not really got any I've got a loaf of bread but we had some toast for breakfast so I don't really want to give him just bread or more toast for dinner so chips and chicken nuggets it is and then hopefully it comes close to four so I can get it all the way and make something ready for like four half at five like Five-ish. Um, Aiden might be home earlier today. He says he's going to get back to the depot at about half past three. So the earliest he would get to our house is... Um, the earliest he would get to our house is about four o'clock. Um, but that would be just in time to help me with the kids whilst the del food delivery comes, if he gets back. I've managed to finish editing a video I'm just waiting for it to export so I can upload it and that is going to go live tonight um, but other than that we haven't really done anything um, today we're just having a very lazy day at home um, and yeah I'm going to go and give Todd his dinner eat my dinner, him eat his dinner, have a bottle of water because I've seriously not drank fluid today and yeah that is it for now. It's now Friday as expected although Todd did nap on Wednesday he then decided to be a crazy child in the afternoon and it was just too much to pick up the camera as well so yeah Wednesday was just mayhem in the afternoon. My food shop arrived. We put it all away and then, yeah, made the tea. Todd didn't go to bed until like nine o'clock because of this nap. And Aidan was up for work at like two or three in the morning. So that was an interesting night. Um, and then, yeah, I had an awful night of sleep that night was up like every hour um, so I felt exhausted yesterday but also went to my grand's which was lovely she got to meet Asta for the first time um, and yeah so she met Asta and that was lovely we had a lovely day um, we got stuck in lots of traffic going there which I was already like anxious about her being in the car seat for the journey there but it was fine she was fine it was all okay um, we got home late but transferred the kids both straight into bed um, and yeah that worked out well and today I'm just having a home day catching up with washing um, and doing some batch cooking hopefully if I get a chance I'm thinking if she naps and I can put her down then he can go in his high chair and do something. Um, 
he can, Todd can go in his high chair, do something in his high chair and I can do some batch cooking and include him and he can be in the kitchen with me. Um, and yeah, so I think I want to make courgette popping wheels, cheese twists and there's like some blueberry cake loaf tin thing that I've seen in, I think it's in What Mummy Makes. So I would love to try and make that because Todd loves blueberries. <laughs> yeah, your brother loves blueberries. So yeah, that is my plan for the day. Just to get stuff done day and yeah, I will leave it there. Aster is feeding and Todd is just happily watching 10 minutes of the zoo that I'm letting him watch. Um, just I can film a little bit. Um, tractor, yeah. So yeah, that is all my day is going to consist of today. I'll pick it up and share what I can. Um, but yeah, I'll leave it there. Marvellous. My battery is on low. Anyway, I finally got round to putting the baby down. She's having a nap in the pram. Um, and Todd is eating a plate of cheese. Um, so yeah, I am making some meal prep, well, cheese twists. Courgette puff meals and I'm gonna try and make the blueberry sponge fingers um just while they are all happily occupied I'm just trying to grate more cheese um because I do uh cheese twists are very cheesy I'll show you what it's looking like in a minute um So this is the sheet of puff pastry followed by two heaped spoons of mascarpone and then I've used ground white pepper and a little bit of garlic pepper as I didn't have any black pepper and I just thought I would try the garlic pepper. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to add in the grated cheese I've grated loads I don't weigh it um, I just put on as much as I think but I know I'll need cheese for the courgette popping wheels and if I also get a chance I'm going to start prepping tea I mean I don't actually know where my phone is um, I think it's like just before 3 o'clock um, but I was going to do a cottage pie so I can at least do the mashed potato and I've grated some cheese to put on top although I've just realised that the pot that I usually put the um, pasta in it, I usually put the cottage pie in has got pasta baking still um, and I've not actually had my lunch but I also don't think I should eat um, pasta bake because well um, it's not far away from tea really is it anyway right move this now Theo. Oh. Theo. check if Theo can have cheese no no he can't not now. Your. Ch <gasps> Were you pinching cheese? So is mummy. Make a wrap. I'm making a wrap. No, uh, uh. Is that what I've made? Wrap. I'm so mm -hmm. Wrap for the cheese. No. I still need to beat the egg um, and whatever. I always try and do like a couple of like things like this when I'm Why? meal prepping because I always think one egg is such a waste because I never... Oh! 
get your little fingers off i always think that one egg is too much so if i do two lots of pastry two options or two sheets of cheese twists then i don't feel like i've got a waste of an egg 